So you may have noticed that YouTube no longer counts how many dislikes a video gets. Apparently, when people click it, the, the content creator can still see how many dislikes they've gotten, but I haven't seen myself getting any dislikes on my recent videos, and I usually get quite a bunch of them, so I'm not so sure how true that is. I, well, I've gotten two likes here. I've gotten, oh, okay, I got one dislike on uh, November 27th, so I don't know if that was before or after the feature. But I think there's a, another reason YouTube got rid of the dislike button. So this past year, we had a public health policy that was very heavily disliked, at least on the YouTube community, and even out in the street when I talk to people about it. And so um, I've been able to get around that policy, you know, even though it's technically uh, supposed to be illegal for me to go to a restaurant, go to a bar, that policy is so disliked that as soon as you know somebody in there and they know that you're not trying to enforce the policy, oh, come on in, right? It's become um, just universally accepted that uh, we just have to make sure that, that uh, we don't get caught, right? And so every time there's a video about that policy, bam, a million dislikes. And uh, I, I really suspect this uh, getting rid of the dislike feature was a cover for that more than anything else. Uh, certainly, uh, it's not about um, people's feelings getting hurt or anything like that. Usually a dislike is a message that I need to do something about my videos, right? Usually I'll get feedback from whoever disliked it. Anyway, just my thought on um, how our uh, free speech has really been um, torpedoed this past year.